the guest for the day is Javeria Fatima, who's bragged offers from not one, not two, but six big companies. Uh, the uh, companies that have offered me uh, uh, jobs are IBM, TCS, Accenture, Mindtree, HCL, and Novepro. Uh, I've also been a Microsoft Learn student ambassador, and uh, I'm also currently interning as a technical content writer intern at Geeks for Geeks. How many rounds were there in your interview process? If I'm talking about IBM, uh, it, it, there were basically three rounds. So the first round, uh, it, it, I had back-to-back -back, uh, assessments, like first the cognitive ability test. So it had a, a few of uh, gamified assessments, you know, it, that is used to test uh, the mental agility and, and how quickly you, uh, you know, choose answers and find the answers. And finally, uh, after that, there's an English assessment test, which is used to test your communication skills. And then um, there was a coding test as well. Um, I had an option, uh, I, I could choose between any languages like uh, Python, Java and so far. So uh, that was there. And finally, if after the coding test, there was a HR or technical round. What exactly to keep in mind while someone is opting for internships and project ideas? Uh, while you're applying for internship, even if you're getting rejected, keep applying it. But simultaneously also upgrade your skills. Uh, like, for example, choose any specific domain, say web development or Android development, or if you're interested in machine learning, learn that, or if you're interested in DBFS, learn that, and try to make projects on it. So you can, uh, you're sure that this is the field that you're actually confident about, that you know a little bit about, and then you can use it as an advantage to uh, secure an internship. I want to know what extra did you put on your resume to make it look appealing to the HR people? If you're applying, for, say, for a software engineer role, uh, your resume must consist all the things that are related to that role that you're applying to. And uh, um, I had, since I had the passion for, you know, creating applications and exploring tech stacks. Like, once I've created web web app. The next thing I'm like, uh, let's go uh, try uh, Android app development uh, or machine learning development. So this actually made me participate in a lot of hackathons and contests as well. And the benefit of participating in so many hackathons like MLH, which is from the US hackathons, I've even participated in the Harvard hackathon as well. So the benefit of participating in such hackathon is that you get experience and the practice to make apps uh, in, in a short duration of time, uh, you get creative also and the kind of apps and projects that you make, you can uh, put it in your resume. How has your struggle been coming from a tier 3 college and getting all these placement offers? It's, it's not easy. So uh, how did you manage to get all of this? My uh, college was at Bangalore rural area. So every day I had to travel around 5 to 6 hours. Uh, using public transportation and then seven to eight hours, uh, you know, ju we're just invested in uh, college hours. So I had very less time to study. Uh, the only options that I had, uh, I was left with was either, uh, you know, like compromising my sleep hours. And I used to study during, uh, during the time I was traveling in the bus. So that way I was able to keep up with all the study schedules and the things that I was learning. And I did not have a laptop until my second year. So until then, I used to stay stay back in college or use my lunch hours to practice in the program uh, programming labs, uh, you know, different kinds of program and so on. Like from the internet, I would just pick up a question and try to code on my own. So, I, and also another struggle of tier three student is that when you are trying to apply for big MNCs, um, Google, Fang, or, or like all the big companies that are there, uh, your resume uh, it is very difficult to uh, make your resume get shortlisted even just for the interview round. So I don't know, uh, like I've never got a reference or anything so far, but I think the only mantra that I followed was I kept on applying. Like even if there are 10 rejections, apply 10 more times. So there's one one or the other time, one out of 100 times, your application is definitely going to be uh, accepted. When should one start preparing for the interview? 
so i suggest you that cr- create a deadline of 3 to 4 months okay the more time you give yourself the more time you'll take to prepare so it's better that you give yourself a limited amount of time and create a study schedule see the kind of uh, if if you have uh, for example if you're preparing for service based companies so you have aptitude verbal reasoning logical reasoning and then you have coding choose a specific language whatever you are comfortable in i chose python as a primary language uh, you can choose uh, uh, java and so on or c++ and then start programming uh, on websites read a little bit of computer networks like tcp ip protocols and so on read about dbms database sql keys primary keys and so on uh, try to build bro- projects projects are very important even if it's just a simple website or a full stack web app create that uh, post it on your github participate in hackathons or so on and do it in within 3 months and make sure you're doing it every day consistently do not be like i'm going to study today and then after 2 weeks i'll continue the next subject so this is not going to help you i just want to say that never give up you know keep on trying there will be uh, points uh, or times in your life where you are low at confident but i realized this in my final year that having confidence plays a huge role in your success so every time you feel like you're not going to do it or you're not going to make it uh, just keep on moving forward you know this this shall pass my uh, parents used to say that you know always compete with yourself if you've done something you know do much better than that so if you're failing next time be like yeah i'm going to do much better than that